Hello Mavericks, welcome back to another episode of Mav Nation. I'm Peyton Bartholomew. And I'm Taylor Neendorf. And, and you're watching, watching Mav Nation. This week is Holiday Spirit Week. Today is PJs, tomorrow is Holiday Socks and Hats, Wednesday is Snow Gear, Thursday is Flannels and Scarves, and Friday is Ugly Sweaters. Buy a cup of hot cocoa from ASB and get cozy. Winter's coming. Today is an early out, which means school gets out at 1.22 p.m. Plus, this Wednesday and Thursday are assembly schedules. ASB is announcing winter formal themes at the special holiday rally, plus a major snowstorm is heading our way. Flurries are said to possibly strike the lawn behind the learning commons. Better bust out the snow gear. Interested in the LCC academic team? Mr. Vice, Mr. Heflin, and Mr. Giuliano want to meet with you. Come to room 322 on Tuesday for more information. Any girls interested in playing lacrosse, come on out on Tuesdays and Thursdays from 3 to 4.15 for preseason workouts. See Coach Rector in room 822 for more information. Hey Peyton, you're a senior. Where's your favorite place to go off campus for lunch? I like to go to Chipotle. I wish I could go off campus. One day you can, Taylor. To find out where Mavericks head for food, pick up a copy of today's Mav Life. Last week, I talked to Cody Bishop, a junior here at LCC, who was one of the 250 chosen students to march in the 90th annual Thanksgiving Day Parade. Here's what he had to say. Welcome back, everyone. It's Thanksgiving in America, and these 250 high schoolers represent every state in the Union, including the District of Columbia. They Cody Bishop is a junior here at La Costa Canyon. He was one of the five selected in California to participate in the Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade in New York. Cody spoke to me about the process of auditioning. He played tenor sax and marched with the Macy's Great American Marching Band. Um, so tryouts basically went that you had a video audition online. So you sent in your tape about five or six months before the parade. And once they approve you uh, from the University of Auburn, then they get back to you. This marching band features the finest high school musicians from all 50 states. I was pretty excited because I was probably one of five people in California to be selected to go to uh, New York. But before Cody could jump into the parade, he had to be very dedicated to rehearsals. Um, so before I flew out about five days before the parade, we practiced all those five days um, from morning till uh, night. And then uh, during the parade, we woke up around 1 o'clock in the morning to get to the parade route. After it was finished, Cody was very excited that he was able to successfully complete the parade. When I started marching band at LCC, I didn't really know what it was about. But then as soon as I started getting immersed in like what marching band is about, then I started to understand like how much fun it can be and like how much you can gain from it and what colleges look for in it. Definitely join marching band. <laughs> Congratulations to senior Zoe Tillman for winning the VFW's Post 5985 Voice of Democracy speech contest. She was awarded $300 and advances to the next round. Congratulations to senior Ronan Walker for placing first in teen physique and sixth in men's novice class C this past weekend at the Scottish Rights Event Center during the Tournament of Champions. This Thursday is comedy sports game at 7.30 p.m. in the theater. The theme is Civil War. Watch as Jacob and Grace battle it out for comedy supremacy. Swim and dive interest meeting is in room 1307 at lunch on Thursday. Anyone interested in swim and dive is encouraged to attend. Are you a shark or are you a jet? Come pick a side by auditioning for the spring musical West Side Story. Auditions will take place during the third week of January. All you need to audition is a one to two minute song and a willingness to defend your territory. The Winter Dance Show is on December 7th and 8th. I talked to a few members of the team and here's what they had to say. Last week on December 7th and 8th was the Winter Dance Show. There were multiple styles of dance such as hip hop and contemporary performed throughout the show. The dancers range from all grade levels. I got the chance to talk to a few members of the dance team. Now here is Kaylin Uglo. Kaylin is one of the captains of the dance team and she is also a varsity cheerleader. She explains how the dance team has been working very hard to prepare for the dance show. So we've been working for probably a couple weeks. We've been learning techniques um, in choreography, um, how to make a piece more related to um, emotion rather than just being a piece of choreography that doesn't have much meaning behind it. Um, Lexi Rhodes is another member of the dance team. Here she explains what the overall goal of the dance show was. This is just more of a showcase of things we've been working on in class. It's pretty casual and we're not trying to do like a big 
huge performance where it costs a lot of money, but it's more of just like a, you know, what we've learned. <laughs> Emma is a freshman on the dance team, and here she talks about the versatility of the styles of dance throughout the show. My group is doing hip hop, but everyone's doing different things. So one group might be doing contemporary, one might be doing jazz. So it just depends on what style people like. Channel 93.3 is coming to DJ in the Student Center for Crash Our Campus. Bring your lunch and plan to hang out while the DJ plays music and gives out prizes. LCC cheerleaders are competing for the first time to get a bid to nationals. The competitions are January 7th, 14th, and 21st in Orange County. If you see a cheerleader, tell her good luck. Last weekend was the annual Speech and Debate Winter Classic Tournament. Here's Mab Nation reporter Fallon Gage. The Speech and Debate Annual Winter Classic took place on December 9th, 10th, and 11th. So the Winter Classic is like a big speech and debate tournament. It's the biggest in San Diego that we all put on for like, people come out to stay for it and like. Nicario told us how the speech and debate team prepares for this tournament. To prepare for it, we're gathering donations, like everyone's bringing in donations and um, signing up for jobs um, so we can all like help out. Student Gabriel Boyd also explained to me what it is. Winter Classic is a global tournament that brings together speech and debaters from across the nation and the globe. We have people from China and from Mexico. The speech and debate team is looking forward to this tournament. We're making sure all the teachers are okay with us using their rooms and making sure that everyone's going to have a blast and do what they do best, which is debating and speaking. The 53rd annual Hamada Invitational Wrestling Tournament took place last weekend here at LCC. With 55 teams in the gym, it was a great weekend to be a Maverick wrestler. Tune in to Sports Later in the show for more information. And that's it for this episode of Mav Nation. I'm Peyton Bartholomew. And I'm Taylor Neendorf. Have a great winter break, everyone. Now here's a video from Community Day. Community Day is a learning experience. It's not just a cry fest. Community Day is family. Knowing you're not alone. A chance to gain skills that will last you a lifetime, like listening, communicating, and conflict resolution. It's more than just an opportunity to miss class. Community Day is everything to me. You meet so many different people that you wouldn't expect to know otherwise, and you make so many friendships. And I think at this point in our lives, it's so important to have that constant support that you can go to somebody and tell them anything and they'll be there supporting you and there for you no matter what situation you're in. It's a really cool thing to have. And for me, this day totally saved my life and helped me work out my problems with others and make me realize that I'm not alone in the problems that we go through as teenagers. And these are great skills that you can learn and take with you for the rest of your life, whether it just be listening or opening up to another person. This day is an all-around great day to get to know others and know yourself. Over the last three years in Community Day, I've learned a lot of different things, heard a lot of different stories. But if there's one takeaway that I could give to my sister, it would be the ability to empathize with others. I hope to gain new perspectives about the world around me. I did my first Community Day freshman year, and I went into it not really knowing what to expect, but I came out, came out of it just in love with the whole idea and environment, and I've been doing it ever since. Um, I did my first Community Day uh, freshman year, and then the following year I got to facilitate, and I think that that's something that people don't really know is an option. And it's really awesome to be behind the scenes and make the day happen. Something that I hope people continue to know about Community Day is that it's just a place for people to completely embrace their authenticity. If you want to be a part of this amazing day, you can sign up for Remind by texting to the number 81010 at cmater, C-M-A-T-E-R. And to find out more about when we'll have meetings and everything, follow at LCC Community Day on Instagram as well. Also, if you just see one of us around campus, we would be happy to talk to you about it. Whether you want to join the club or just be a part of the day, we'll let you know when you can sign up for all that stuff, and we hope to see you there. Welcome to the Mav Life Sports Report. I'm Calvin Zeljak. And I'm Evan West. Now let's send it out to Kennedy Carr, who sat down with the boys and girls soccer teams. 
Last winter, both boys' and girls' soccer teams made huge runs for CAF glory with the boys making it to the semifinals of the state playoffs and the girls suffering a heartbreaking loss to Torrey Pines in the CIF semifinals last season. Uh, it was like the greatest feeling ever. I don't know. It was, it was really fun making a run at CIF with that team. It was really cool and enjoyable time. Pretty exciting. Bring home a CIF championship to LCC. It's been a long time coming. Although both teams went far last season, they are both undergoing major change. I think the main difference is that last year we had like 15 or 16 seniors and now we have like six. So that's the main difference between we had a lot of seniors graduate and now we just have a lot of juniors and sophomores. So we're more of a young team that's going to progress and get better as the year goes on, I guess. Throughout this season, boys soccer team has been very adamant about teamwork. Well, so far we're just mainly working on like working as a team and getting used to our our new team together this year because last year we lost a lot of returners so we're just trying to work on getting like meshing together as a team to get more close as players on and off the field. Now to the other side of things. After winning the CIF state regional playoffs two seasons ago, girls soccer suffered a heartbreaking loss in the semifinals to Torrey Pines last season. A few years ago, CIF and state regionals, so that was probably one of the greatest feelings of all my high school experience so far. So hopefully this year, my senior year, we can come out and win again. I'd expect that we'd get as far as we went last year and hopefully like do better and stuff because this team will like, come together more than we did last year. Now back to Calvin and Evan with the Mav Life Sports Whip Around. Welcome to the Mav Life Sports Whip Around. I'm Calvin Zelchak. And I'm Evan West. Boys basketball stands at 4-0 at the Reedy Scripps Ranch, El Camino, Westview, and Santa Fe Christian. They'll play in the North County Classic next week. Girls basketball stands at 2-1. After playing Scripps Ranch, Mount Carmel, and Escondido, they will be playing in the Mav Roundup in the next couple of weeks. Boys soccer played in the Grossmont Tournament the last two weekends and lost to San Marcos 2-1 at home last week. They'll be playing Westview at Cathedral Catholic this week. Girls soccer played their first home game on Friday, but due to production restraints, we could not bring that one to you. It was against El Camino. Check the scores on Instagram, Snapchat, and Twitter at Mav Life Sports. Wrestling uh, traveled all the way to Boulder City, Nevada, and placed in the top five in their group. Uh, last weekend, they hosted uh, California's biggest tournament, the La Costa Canyon Tournament, an or annual tournament. Girls water polo, they played in the RB invite from the 1st to the 3rd and played Del Norte on Friday. They will be competing in the Winter Classic over the coming weeks. Check at Mav Life Sports for the updates. And a special congratulations to cross country. Both boys and girls won CIF and boys placed 5th in the state and girls placed 4th. Alright, that'll do. Until next time, I'm Calvin Zelja. And I'm Evan West. Hello Mavericks! Hello Mavericks! Hello Mavericks! Welcome to Mad Life Style. So sit back, relax, and enjoy the show made for the Mavs by the Mavs. It's on what makes LCC LCC. Cucumber soaked in vinegar. Can we Are turn you okay? off the lights? So I'm good. Okay. Oh, scary. Okay. Let's do some vocal warm ups. Lindor. Flame on. Didi, what are we doing? It was that bad. Sorry. I gotta go. <laughs> yeah, look at you. <laughs> okay, hi, all the time. Welcome to my channel. As a vegan myself, and mind you, I'm vegan. <laughs> I tell you that I'm vegan? It's so not much. almonds, it's almonds. It's al smooth, but not the good kind of smooth. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. <laughs>